Local students return after taking part in the largest pro-life protest in the nation. St. Gerard students are headed back from Washington, D.C. by bus after the annual March for Life. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore is live at 96 and Q with more. Shante. Matt, Emily, good morning to both of you. Several dozens of students are expected to return sometime today right here at St. Gerald. And this pro-life march is something students say they strongly believe in. Last Wednesday, students left by bus heading to D.C. This march is a staunch opposition to the 1973 Roe v. Wade, which is the Supreme Court case that legalized abortion in the U.S. Pro-life supporters held the first one back in 74. And back here at home, students at St. Gerald say they're just as fired up as those who are pro-choice. All life has dignity and all life has meaning. We have a job and walking around on earth and, and that's to, to speak up for the, the babies. Life is winning again in America. In D.C., Vice President Mike Pence made an appearance the first time a sitting VP has done so. It also comes on the heels of pro-lifers wanting to defund Planned Parenthood and overturning Roe v. Wade, which the pro-choice movement opposes, saying the organization offers reproductive health services and back out here live again. Organizers say again, sometime today, the students are expected to return. Live near 96th and Q, Shante Passmore, KMTV, Action 3 News this morning.